In this video, I will show you how I recreated this. As you can see guys, I already added this world map image to the timeline. Now, we will extend this layer duration to 6.15 seconds. Let's zoom the canvas for a moment. Now add your landmark map. Now adjust size and position. Here's my location. I live in Telangana. Extend this layer duration. Zoom out the canvas. Now we will apply saturation effect to this layer. Let's adjust the saturation value. Now select these two layers and group them. Now apply spherize effect. You can find this effect in 3D section. Scroll up and change the light source point light to flat. Now here add a rotation keyframe. Move four seconds forward and add one more rotation keyframe. Now adjust the map based on your current landmark position. Adjust the rotation at the first keyframe if needed. Now edit your keyframe's curves as shown. Now let's add scale keyframes for zoom effect. At the first frame, add scale keyframe. Now move to fourth second and adjust the size as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Let's add position keyframes. Add the position keyframe at the first frame. Now at this keyframe, adjust the position as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Let me adjust the rotation a little bit here. Now we have something like this. Now add vector drawing tool. Draw a line as shown. Go to Colors and select No Fill. Now enable Stroke. Change Stroke Color to White. Adjust Stroke Size as shown. Now add Drawing Progress Effect to it. At the first frame of this layer, add End Keyframe. Move 15 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, decrease End Value to 0%. Now smooth keyframe curves. But I'm not going to use this line animation. I will create a better line. As you can see, guys, here I have created this line animation with vector drawing tool. It consumes a little time, but it's awesome. Let's adjust this line. Now add your text. I used long shadow effect to create 3D effect to this text layer. Now group these two text layers. Let's create fade in animation to this layer. Add the opacity keyframe here. Move 10 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, decrease opacity to 0%. Now smooth keyframe curves. Let's trim it here. Let's create a grid background. Add a rectangle shape. Now fit this shape into the canvas size. Change this shape color to black. Now apply grid effect to this layer. Change the color to white. Here enable screen space. Now drag it down. Extend this layer duration. Now apply flip layer effect to it. Let me decrease the opacity to 30% first. Now here add the angle keyframe. Move here and adjust the angle value as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now add a position keyframe here. Move here and adjust the position as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now here add the spacing keyframe. 
Also add at the first frame. Now at this keyframe, adjust the spacing value as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now we have something like this. That's it guys, thanks for watching.